I got to take care of the boys. <laughs> mm-hmm. Where from? Kansas. Yes. <laughs> How about you? I'm Washington. Oh, okay. Ah, you have a lot of things on the roof. <laughs> what are those? Well, uh, of course the uh, the fan in the center, and then the round white thing on the side is a uh, huh. it's cell phone. Cell phone. Uh, it. It takes in the cell phone uh, uh-huh. signal and then broadcasts it out as Wi-Fi. Uh-huh. But then uh, I also have the directional antenna up at the front. Uh-huh. And this one back here is working off of uh, um, T-Mobile. And the one, the directional antenna in the front's working off AT&T. And then these two little small antennas back here uh-huh. on the back, the ones that are only about that tall, those are... Uh, two? They're for uh, Verizon Jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot. Why you have many antennas? I do YouTube videos. YouTube? Yeah. You do YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> Let me know what's your YouTube channel name. Yeah, it's called The Dogman Chronicles. Dog? What's that for? What's, what's your main your well, concept? I'm, I'm a retired police dog handler. And plus, when I started, when we started going on about two years ago, I, I had four dogs with me. And now... Uh, I lost my German Shepherd. She died last October. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. But she was a over 12 and a half, and uh, she had a seizure in the middle of the night and died a few minutes later. So, better way to go than suffer a long time. You know, she she went quick, which was good. Mm. Yeah. But uh, are you traveling full time? Yeah, I'm full time. Good. Yeah. How long have you been traveling? Uh, it'll, it's going on two years. Two years. Yeah. You're full time now. Full time. Yeah. 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 I I retired a few years back and uh, got tired of watching TV and got mm. rid of the house. Got rid of most of my stuff. Converted the cargo van into a camper and uh, we hit the road. <laughs> I do just the western states, north in the summer, south in the winter. Mm-hmm. So like last summer we spent most of the time in South Dakota and Montana. And then we spent the winter in uh, New Mexico and Arizona, and uh, we're back this year. We we spent time in uh, South Dakota, and we went up North Dakota, spent uh, a good bit of time up there, and then came over into Montana again. Yeah, I like Montana. You have AC? No. Then how can you survive? Most of, most of the time, we're up in the mountains, uh-huh. so it's yeah. It's, and actually here it's been cool. It went down to 38 degrees at night. Uh-huh. It was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Hi, what are you doing? Hi. What's his name? Bison. Bison? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're like a little bull. <laughs> <laughs> this is Beethoven. He he has bad cataracts, so it, and he's also deaf, so he can't see very well. This is Elton, their brothers. They're 12 mm. years old, and that's Berkeley. He's one of uh, Elton's sons. He's mm. 10 years old. And then, uh, what I do for water is I've got these water bricks. Mm-hmm. And they each hold three and a half gallons. I've got eight of them, so we've got 24 gallons of water. And uh, it's a little crowded in there. I've got all my electrical stuff mounted over behind the driver's seat there. That's my refrigerator, and I've got a smaller version of it that's in between the front uh, seats, and I use that as a freezer. Uh-huh. And then uh, for cooking, I've got a propane, 20 pound propane tank back in there, and I use propane for cooking and heating. I've got a Olympian Wave 3 catalytic heater. One second. Sure. No. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> it's really tight getting in here. You, you have a lot of stuff. Yeah, I sure do. But it makes it comfortable. And if you want to try to see in there, let me move their water. And you, th- these cutouts were there. I just took the plastic panel off there mm-hmm. so that I could use the inner space as storage. 
And what I use is uh, pipe insulation because it's really sharp, kind of. So I use pipe insulation to protect the stuff that it doesn't cut it. Mm -hmm. And I keep my shoes in there and uh, some, this is dog gear mostly, uh, harnesses. These are tie outs for the dogs. They're leads. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a small microwave. Uh -huh. How can you use that? Uh, I've got, I've got two 206 amp hour lithium batteries, one behind each seat. Hmm. And I've got 840 watts of solar. Uh -huh. So between the two, they, I've got enough power. Yeah. Um, like I've got a 2000 watt, um, inverter. Yeah. Pure sign inverter. Mm -hmm. So that's enough because I think the max at 700 watts. Mm -hmm. You use that microwave every day? No, I hardly use it at all, really. Okay. I very rarely use it, but it's mm -hmm. nice to have if, if I want to, mm -hmm. but very rarely use it. So I, I did a uh, kind of an easy install. I didn't, I'm not good at woodworking and such. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got these uh, plastic drawer units. Mm hmm and uh, I, they're down along the wall there. And I keep like up here, I keep mostly food and there's like some electronic stuff and that. And then in the middle, there's like a couple of them are uh, pots and pans and things okay. and stuff. Yeah, you can go on in. It's okay. probably not enough room for Thank both you. of us. <laughs> so it's your drawer and then yep, and you sleep. There's yeah. more drawers down below. There are mm -hmm. bigger ones that are below. Uh -huh. We've got a full-size bed. Yeah, We're, it's very a... big. So you can sleep with you three dogs. Yep. Uh -huh. No problem. We do. Yeah. And uh, there, we've got a 24-inch TV on the wall back here. Ah, uh, there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've got two inches of insulation on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And I've got one inch on the side walls plus paneling this one <coughs> yeah yeah i've got two inches up here yeah so uh it's pretty good in the winter time and it helps in the summer too uh, and then uh, you hang <laughs> many things <laughs> <laughs> many <laughs> wow it's full of stuff Actually, yeah. and actually wow. I, I got those uh, all the way in the back by the uh, back doors are those um, uh -huh. slings, yeah. uh, the nets, mm -hmm. and those are for boats. But uh, I found it was easier for like clothes that I use all the time, just to put them there. So, so this Chevy, Ben. Yeah, it's a Chevy, it's a 2012 Chevy Express van with an extended body. You bought it used one? What? I, I bought it used in 2019 mm -hmm. and uh, paid uh, $7,400 for it. Mm -hmm. And it was just empty. It was just an empty van. Okay. Um, so, yeah, then... That, so, how, how much you put it to convert it, RV? Well... I probably have, besides the cost of the van, I've probably got about ten thousand dollars in uh -huh. the van between yeah. the, all the electronic stuff, the electrical stuff, yeah. and that stuff costs a lot. Right, and the, well, just the two batteries were almost uh, like they were a little over two thousand dollars. Yeah, but, you know, if you can get the lithium batteries, they are so much better. Nice plate. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it you? <laughs> yeah, no, but it's not me. But uh, mm. yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah, I like your tire. Oh yeah, tire. those tires are awesome mm. for like back country. Mm -hmm. They are really good. They've saved me a few times. You often go back Most country. Most of the time, I go in the back country. Uh -huh. That's what we prefer. I do. Mostly like National Forest and uh, Bureau of Land Management. Mm -hmm. Can I climb up? Sure. Yeah, you can climb up. And there's 840 watts. There's four pan, four 210 watt panels. So it makes a lot of electric power. It does. Yeah. When I started out, I had AGM batteries. Uh huh. And uh, last year in Montana, the smoke was so thick that I was hardly getting any sunlight. So 
I I decided that I was going to go for the lithium batteries and I'm really happy that I did although they're they're expensive it was a good investment yeah and uh, yeah I haven't had a problem since now lithium batteries last long long time yeah 10 times more than plus, AGM batteries plus uh, like AGMs yeah. uh, you are only supposed to take them down no lower than 50% Whereas lithium, you can take them almost down to zero if you'd have to. This rack, you made it? Uh, I bought this rack, it's an aluminum rack, uh -huh. so it won't rust. And then what I did, I put, I mounted two by fours, uh -huh. and then mounted the uh, solar panels onto the uh, two by this fours. This is two by four wood. Yeah. Yep. This is a, uh, a swing away hitch, so it swings out so that I can open the doors. Mm -hmm. No, here, I'll, I, I just, let me move this because normally yeah. this stuff is all mm -hmm. stowed in. This, I use this to break down, I break down the uh, dog cot, cot and uh -huh. put them in there. But uh, no, this opens easily. There's a, there's, there's a latch you pull up. Uh -huh. You pull that up and it releases the catch. And then this just pushes out. And of course, mm -hmm. this isn't there, but... Uh, and yeah. then you open. And then, yeah, I can open these uh -huh. and get in. Now, this one I can only open here, but this one will open all the way out. I think the hitch just by itself is 350 or something like that. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> now down under here, um, it, it's kind of hard to see, but here's the bed here. Mm -hmm. And then I have a hypervent. To keep uh, airflow underneath the mattress. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I use a four inch uh, piece of memory foam for my mattress. Mm -hmm. But I've got enough room that I've I've got uh, six big storage bins that are, oh, probably this big each of them, mm -hmm. and about that high. And uh, I've got six of them that fit underneath the bed. So I've got a lot of storage. And uh, these are those uh, boat uh, mm -hmm. nets you know, car, uh, gear nets, and I just put like clothes and such that I use quite often mm -hmm. in there. And I've got a spare 20 pound propane tank, so I've got two 20 pound tanks. Yeah, uh -huh. um, Yeah. so. Anyway, you have really a lot of stuff. <laughs> I do. I can't say that. Mostly, of, mostly dog, of dog, your stuff. dog stuff. A lot of dog food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, I got to take care of the boys. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you like pen uh, life? Oh, love it. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of plan on doing it as long as I can now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm 70 years old, so... I try to keep uh, lightweight stuff in here, like uh, but bulky things like paper towels. Mm -hmm. I've got a uh, Illuminate shade that I put out uh, over the side, and it's like 10 by 20 foot, so it gives us uh, a lot of shade. It's pretty nice. I keep that in there, uh, you know, like paper towels, toilet paper. Um, in here, I've got like uh, this is just about done. I've got a new one in here. To do my dishes, I use a spray bottle of uh, water and then wipe it out, and then I put white vinegar in to, uh, you know, sterilize it. How often do you go to market? Uh, we can actually, it just depends, but usually my limiting factor is water. Mm -hmm. When I had my German Shepherd with us, she used to drink a lot, so... I'd have to go get more water about every two weeks. But now, mm -hmm. with these guys, I can probably stay out for three to four weeks mm -hmm. without, you know, needing to go back mm -hmm. in for water. And food-wise, we've got plenty of food. We could go probably, you know, a lot longer than that even. Do you mind if I ask how much you spend for months? Uh, you know, I, I, I haven't really figured it out. My biggest expense is uh, gasoline. Mm -hmm. But Depending. you are not going to travel a lot then? No, what I like to do is if I find a nice spot, mm -hmm. I like to stay there for a while, you know, yeah. a couple weeks, you know. And uh, that cuts the gas.
gas consumption down. Mm -hmm. Plus, I think these guys like it too because they get to know the area better and mm -hmm. more familiar with it. Okay, thank you, Jim. I appreciate I, you know, that. I'm kind of proud of it, and I like to show it off, actually. <laughs> <laughs>